So Deli Ali, the man who was once the most promising midfielder in the world of football, he had it all. A two-time Young Player of the Year, which once got him a 91 rated card in FIFA 17, he started the next year at an 84 overall with 90 potential. And now at 26 years old, he was meant to be one of the best players in the world, a Ballon d'Or candidate, but he was actually banished from Besiktas. Yes, banished. Not cut, not sent back to Everton. The wording used was literally banished. I'm going to use a wheel to try to save his career, to try and make Deli Ali back to what he once was, maybe live up to his 90 potential from FIFA 19, and who knows, he could win a Ballon d'Or like Pochettino said that he had the potential to win. We are also only going to be allowed to sign one player in every single transfer window, as well as a couple of free agents to help improve his team. But first, before anything else, we have to get him out of Besiktas. And we gotta put him where his level is, which unfortunately is the championship. So we've sent him to Blackpool. So for the first wheel spin, this is going to be an important one because he is down in the 70s. He gets a plus 10 shooting, which ends up making him a 77 overall. So not a great player, but great for the championship. And I didn't want to make any really unrealistic signings. So considering Pickford might be in the championship next year, we went and signed Pickford. So the first year in January, we are actually in second place in automatic promotion. And Deli Ali, just based on playing and dynamic potential, I guess is up to 80. We signed Ruter in January and we go on a four game losing streak. So with one game to go, we need a win and we don't. So after spending the entire year in the top two, Blackpool end up finishing fifth and losing the first leg of the playoffs against Middlesbrough. However, Deli Ali goes and pulls one back after going 1-0 down second leg. He scores again to make it 3-2, but unfortunately Middlesbrough then go and pull one back. But in the 90 minute, Deli Ali gets put through and scores to send Blackpool to the playoff final. Hopefully, hopefully they can go and win and it's not a disaster of a season, but Norwich win. Of course, Cantwell of all people scores. And for our second season wheel spin, hopefully this is enough to get us out of the championship. He ends up almost getting 99 attempts, we 99 short passing, but does go to an 82 overall. And for our summer transfer, due to the fact that I am Irish and I like Nathan Collins, and he might be playing the championship next year, hopefully he leads to beat Wolves today, but we got him to Blackpool. So I learned a lot of teams' contracts expire, and the free agents we signed were a huge upgrade, and this is a fantastic, fantastic team for the championship. But by January, we're in fifth. Yes, fifth. With two teams on track to probably break the championship points record, the Bernie are probably going to break this year. But we do sign Estepanan in January, who's a very, very good signing because our left back is awful. And we go on a bit of a win streak. We have a very, very good march, but we still end up in fifth place facing Bournemouth, who, with their points total any other year, they would have gotten up automatic. So this is not going to be an easy playoff semi final. But a really good season in the championship for 83 overall, Delhi Alley, 25 goals, 13 assists, and up to 83. It's almost his all time high. However, unfortunately, in the playoffs against Bourne, we do draw the first leg, but we lose away 4-2. And the season three wheel, this is a big one, because if we don't get promoted, I'm definitely getting the sack. And we get plus five to all stats, which is massive. It brings Deli Ali up to an 88 overall, which is almost at his max potential, and he has finally overtaken his max overall rating in a FIFA. And then again, we sign another guy who might end up being in the championship, Tino Livramento, to play right back. So, 79 overall, our team is way, way too good for championship. We got El Elneny as a free agent. If we don't win the championship, something is seriously, seriously wrong. And to be fair, we do start off the season winning six games in a row, which is really freaking good. But we do start to lose a couple of games. After we lose that one to Bristol Rovers, we end up in third place at Christmas, which is not good at all really really not good like we if we don't get promoted this year it's gonna be a disaster especially with Deli Alley up at an 89 overall we then sign Pascal Strauch we need a big big defender in there and Strauch is gonna be the perfect player so two young 80 overall center backs these guys are going to carry us for a couple of years hopefully and in the end we go on a big big win streak to end the season we beat Bournemouth and Fulham in our last two games which is big and all that does is gives us the league title. If we'd lost both of those, we were in the playoffs, but we end up winning the league. Deli Ali with 24 goals, the second top scorer in the league. I mean, he should be. 24 goals, 9 assists, and a 90 overall play in the championship. I mean, this team could make Champions League in the Prem. So the year four wheel where he goes and gets plus 10 shooting. So Deli Ali up in a 91 overall, and I'm actually going to go and probably move him to the striker position. Because I'm going to sign Zaniolo from Celta Vigo. And he can slide to that cam position where Ali was originally playing, and Ali can pair up with Jorginho Ruther up front. And in January, Blackpool are in fifth place. Surprisingly enough, it's Wolves that are in fourth, which is kind of mad. 
But Ali himself is up to a 92 overall, and he has 8 goals and 6 assists in the first half of the season. But while Ali is great, we do go and sign Chuameni to replace El Neni to hopefully help our Champions League push, but it doesn't. We end up 1 point off 3rd, but still in 5th place and the Europa League. Where Deli Ali has now a 185 million market value and is up to 93 overall. However, for some reason we get sacked. For some reason, we got sacked after leading Blackpool to 5th straight out of Championship because one of our players has a release cost too low, which hasn't even been triggered, he's still at the club! But the year 5 wheel is here and he gets plus 10 long passing in a year where I don't actually have the ability to control him. He does go up to a 95 overall and is going to Liverpool. And I mean, one of the best players in the world going to one of the best teams in the world, not much of a surprise. And honestly, if he ended up going to Liverpool in his actual career, if you said that 5 years ago, it wouldn't have been a surprise at all either. But not really surprisingly, he didn't make the Ballon d'Or shortlist. And he did do okay in the Champions League group stages, but Liverpool are having a decent season. Nowhere near first, but still should make the Champions League. However, at the end of the year, they end up finishing second. They nearly win the whole thing. And I'm looking for him in the Champions League. I'm like, did they win it? Where did they make? Oh, are they in the round of 16? I'm looking for them, and I cannot find them. I'm really, really confused. But no, they finished behind Benfica in a Champions League group. Another wheel spin, and he gets the jackpot, the plus 10 all stats, making him a 98 overall, the best player in the world right now for Liverpool. But he still doesn't make the Ballon d'Or shortlist, despite literally being the best player in the world. And in the Premier League, they're in third, which is not too great. They finished top of the Champions League group this year. However, he doesn't play as well in the group stages, and they lose to Juventus in round of 16. And don't even make the Champions League, which is completely, completely nuts. One more wheel spin where he ends up getting plus 10 stamina. That's not going to affect his overall, but it might help him on the pitch a little bit. Still a 98 overall. However, they lose to Genk in the Europa League. And in the next season, they do make the Champions League semi-final, which is pretty good. However, Deli Ali himself doesn't have the greatest Champions League. Three goals, three assists is still okay. So I decide to bring him to Germany. I decide to bring him to St. Pauli, which is a team that I'm managing who are going to be hopefully one of the best teams in Germany. The team I took over after I was sacked from Blackpool. And we have put together one of the greatest teams in the world right now with a 96 overall Deli Alley up front. Unfortunately, again, he does not make the shortlist for the Ballon d'Or despite being one of the highest overall players. However, he does get a Bundesliga win with St. Pauli. But he's now starting to regress, and at 35 years old, at the end of this contract, he is going to be retiring. But he three goals, four assists in the Bundesliga. Does not seem too much. Wait, what? I got sacked. I won the Bundesliga with St. Pauli and got sacked. However, the final year of his career is the year he does get a nomination for the Ballon d'Or. Is he going to go and win it? No, unfortunately, Kylian Mbappe wins. Well, the first time that Deli Ali is nominated. Now he's down at a 91 overall, 36 years old, and retiring at the end of the season. So, not the greatest. And I'm looking through the Champions League. I'm like, surely this team, like, if I was in charge of them, they would have probably at least made the quarterfinal Champions League. I'm like, where are they? Where are they in the Champions League? I'm looking through the groups. They finished behind FCSB. I don't know who they are. And SK Strumgrass. So, that's it for Delhi Ali's career. Did he hit the heights that people expected of him in 2019, even with the wheel? Unfortunately not, but again, one Ballon d'Or nomination, a couple of league titles, not a bad career.